What's up guys, welcome to Poland's Garage. So today we're gonna do a quick video review about the Datsun I just purchased. So this is a 1983 Datsun 280ZX, which is basically a Nissan, you know. And uh, this is the 80s one, which is like the kind of fixed body style with the uh, sharper lines and uh, just a little bit different styling. Some people say that uh, they like more the previous generations, which were the uh, the older ones, the 70s ones, basically, the 69, 70, you know. They, they just have different lines, in my opinion. I purchased this car for $1,700 as it sits here right now. And for $1,700, this is a really good deal. I mean, if you look at the paint, the only problem with the paint, the paint is nice. This is just a water spot, don't look at it. But uh, the paint itself is really nice and everything, the car shines and everything, there's no really too many scratches or orange peel. And that's the original color the car came with, or at least close to the original color what the car came with. But the car at some point of its life was repainted and it was uh, repainted red. So this is, it was this color then repainted red and then painted back to the original color of the car, which in my opinion is really nice. And uh, I put a little sticker there. Carol has got it for my friend. Usually it's not there. And uh, <laughs> we put the tip on the exhaust just for fun to like, make it look more beefy. I'm probably gonna take it off because it's all stock exhaust. But uh, besides that, it has nice rims. Sadly, the tires are 15 years old on this car. But as you can see, the car was sitting for a while. I bought it from the second owner of this car. Who owned this car for uh, for a good couple of years, and uh, only has 144,000 original miles. It has the digital dash that I will show you in a second. We're gonna fire it up. But besides that, the interior is all nice and and then, to be honest with you, in a really nice condition. So no ribs in the seats, nothing like this. Of course, it has electric mirrors because the mirrors are electric and uh, electric windows which is a pretty good deal for uh, 1983. The only funny part is it also has heated mirrors. I don't know why you need that in California. I'm sorry, it's all dirty anyway. I didn't even have a chance to clean it up yet. But you can turn on the heated mirrors. So they, if they're like, uh, if there's ice on them or something, it's supposed to warm them up. I don't know if they works. I couldn't really tell them in fucking California. But the fun f uh, thing about the car is that for each mirror, you have like your own little joystick. So, for the right mirror you have your own joystick and for the left mirror you have your own, your own jo joystick the steering wheel is pretty simple there's no uh, airbag or nothing in it you have uh, gauges the oil gauge the volts gauge and the clock the clock sadly doesn't work but it would be nice if it would work and uh, I'll just turn it on and show you guys the gauges so you can see how the gauges look like the only problem is you have like four different keys for this car so that's the only <laughs> if the real issue that we have. But you turn the key in. Oh, oh. Somewhere there. Or maybe that's not this key. Sorry guys, just a lot of keys. There we go. You twist it all the way. I don't know if you guys can hear this. <laughs> if you can hear this uh, clicking. But the thing that I think is amazing about this car, besides those, I, saw, I know I should wash it before, my bad. But uh, the tag is digital, the what is it called? The, the water temp is digital, the mileage is digital, and the gas is digital. Besides that, the trim and this is just regular. I've never got a chance to see how the warning display works. Let's see if you check it, it just probably doesn't work. But uh. It sounds pretty good. Yep, not bad. I drove it here, so that's why the, the car is warm. It has some gas, you can see everything shows up. If you rev it up a little bit, the RPMs go up and down, which is cool. It sadly has aftermarket radio, which is not original, obviously, for this car. The original radio was bigger, it would fit the, basically the whole trim right here. Let me shut it off so you can hear me better. Right, it's automatic transmission. Sadly, I would prefer to be a stick shift, but I don't mind automatic transmission. I mean, it's not a fast car, it's mostly just a cruiser. You have your 
you know you can steer your uh, temperature your vents and everything the vents are funny because they're on this side and they're very very tiny I mean you can literally cover the whole vent basically with two fingers so is this one that's how small these two vents are but <laughs> that's not even the worst thing you have two more I believe there are vents right here I think so and obviously the window one sadly the dash is cracked it has a couple cracks here here and here and there is a one right there on the speaker you can buy those like covers for it I don't think I'm gonna buy it but the cool thing is the vents right here so you can to close you see you have them open they're small right you can close them just like this you literally close the vents which I, I think it looks kind of cool in my opinion at least it's pretty cool it's like a cool design Besides that, you have your, uh, on this side, you have your cruise control that you turn on right here. And then you set it right here, or acceler accelerate or resume right here. You have your uh, rear sprayer and your rear hatch uh, windshield wiper, some lights, and the, I believe this is the defroster for the back window. I'm not sure, to be honest. I didn't figure out how it works yet, the time, auto, I, I don't know how it works actually. So it's hard for me to explain it to you. But I mean, it's cool that it's there. It even has the original ashtray. I mean, uh, the light lighter and the ashtray as well right here. It's pretty dirty. You can, like, I just want to apologize to you guys because I know this is all dirty. I know I should wash it, but I literally just got this car a couple days ago and I never, never really had the time to, to do it. Uh, besides that, you have a little fuse box down there with all the fuses that are labeled. You have a little storage right here the car came with a <laughs> car came with a little fucking thing for your uh, cup holders but sadly it won't fit in this i don't think at least but also a cool thing that the car came with are those badges i want to restore them to make them all nice because when the car was repainted they probably just take them off but that, that's whatever you can do it it has a little also cup holder right here and uh, I mean, it kind of takes away some space from the seat, but who cares if you drive alone, doesn't really matter. If so, you can just pop it out. You also have a storage right here, which is pretty cool. It's also dirty as hell. It came with your uh, tire pressure, how much pressure you should put in your tires thing label. It's still there, which is cool. You have two storage compartments on each side. You have one right here. I put the tow rope just in case in there. And... Uh, there's another one, I also put my jumper cables in there, but it's pretty useful. And uh, under, sadly, the light right here is broken, because someone probably tried to take it off and this thing is literally falling apart. But you have a light right here that literally is like an airplane light. You can like, you move this light around, like you would be in the fucking airplane, which I think is a pretty cool feature. Also under feature right here, you have two lights, I mean you have two mirrors on each of those sun visors you don't open them up you open them down which is kind of weird but i mean it, it, it does the job so that's pretty cool we have the mirror that sticks out further i would prefer to have the mirror on the dash i think the, the mirror dash would look a little bit better at least in my opinion but uh yeah that's about all the quirks on the inside you also have dual storages right here but they're not necessarily the biggest ones but let's check out the trunk really quickly so you can open the car, you can open the car trunk from right here, which is weird because the shocks don't pop up. So I'll just open it from the outside with the with the key, which I believe is either one of those keys. I think it's this key. Okay, you open it, and now you lift this up. And for my surprise, those things actually, the shocks hold it up, so they stay up and everything. And uh, don't worry about this, this is just mine. I just put the box in there. And uh, it has some things like, this could be repainted, so you could technically take the whole panel off and just repaint it. But you have another little storage right here that I put some stuff in there, that I had. So whatever, not nothing, no, no biggie, nothing big, but... Uh, you see this one this is the storage from the bag you have your spare tire right here behind this little cover there's literally nothing the floor is flat because there's a gas tank right here so even if you lift it up it's literally just the floor the trunk is pretty spacious i mean you can compare it to the box this is a little toolbox box you can see and you can compare it you could fit probably like 
good five or six of those in the trunk, which is nice. This takes away just a little bit of space. This is the windshield wiper motor. So when you close it, this is where the windshield wiper is. And that's where your little sprayer for the windshield wiper is, right there. The antenna kind of, in my opinion, don't fit the car, but it does the job. We could have a pop-up antenna, but that works too. And uh, certain spots you can see your little red and blue paint that was used to be there before. But besides that, the car is in really nice condition. And uh, nothing is really too beat up. I mean, it's not perfect, but for $1,700, you literally cannot beat the price. And from a second owner car that has clean title, it's a clean California title that has 144,000 miles, it's really not bad at all. Give you a little guess thing right here. It's a bitch to open it. I don't know why. You have the nice rims. I do like the rims. I think they let the rims fit this car. With this color, they fit the car perfect. It's not lowered or anything. It would be nice if it would be lowered. But it's good enough for me. Those windows tricked me right here. Because usually when you have little tabs in here, you have one right here and one right here. I thought the window actually lifts up like a little bit from right here and opens. But sadly now it doesn't open. At least I didn't figure out how to open it yet. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. But I don't think it opens. You have your little nice door handles. I think they look cool. I like the mirrors even through. You can see shit. Like the mirrors are awful. They still look good in my opinion. You have your two windshield wipers. You have the hood vents. Right here and right here. Nice headlights. I would kind of wish it would have those little cover things right here. But it doesn't. I still think it looks good. You have the California. The older style California plates. The running light and everything. We are gonna pop the hood really quickly to show you guys how you open the hood. Because the hood, you pop it right here, it pops out a little bit. It doesn't pop out a lot, but it pops out a little bit. You come up, let's say on the corner right here, you lift it up. You have a lot right there, and you open it forward. So you can like open your engine, look under, it's a mess. It's dirty, it's a mess, and sadly they crack somewhere in the either way exhaust or the manifold, which is down there. For some reason, the intake and the manifold, like the exhaust manifold, is on the same side. I don't know why it is like this, but it is like that, so I'm not arguing with it. It looks pretty cool when it's uh, open. The hood is, is really, really big. For a small car, the hood is literally like, the hood is taller than I am right now. So, this, the inside of the hood doesn't have anything, but the vents actually are real. And let's do the job. There's the bigger one. I don't know why they are there, since the air intake, I believe this is it right here. I mean, I would imagine. This is the only thing I can imagine. And uh, the one weird thing that the car has is this. I still haven't figured out that this like, I mean, obviously it's not a turbo, but kind of like a turbo looking thing. But it looks like it just like turns on, it's like electrically fan. It blows the air on this, on the intake. I don't know if this true, maybe it's to cool down the injectors or something. I don't know. I didn't figure it out yet. But it's pretty all nice and straight under the hood. Let's close the hood. There we go. Hood locked in. And uh, it has a couple of rust spots like on the bottom of the car, but the floor is all complete and everything. There's no like rust holes completely through the carpet or anything. You cannot touch the carpet from the bottom of the car. And uh, it's in nice condition. I mean, in, at least in my opinion. It looks pretty cool. It's clean. And uh, there's no dents. I literally did not find a single dent on the car. We're going to do a quick walk around one more time. I literally did not find a single dent on the car yet. Besides the, besides the dirty interior. I really like this car and the exterior is pretty dusty right now I just I don't really had time to wash it I'm sorry for that guys but this is it it's a two-seater so in my opinion it's better I don't care about their back seats just like how it looks like it's nice and clean all right guys this is it for now if you enjoyed please subscribe my channel leave a like below and stay tuned and see you next time